that you guys need to be aware of it. We are I'm always aware. aware. Like, aware. there are some things I don't want to know. Like, I don't know if my mind is ready to wrap uh, around, like, do aliens really exist? Oh, here you go with the conspiracy theories. Oh, you know no, it's coming. Fine. Segway. I know it was coming. Segway. <laughs> uh, Listen, what you guys would you just even let do? me know. What Actually, just do? educate me on these because okay. I don't oh, really. Oh, I have what a would lot. you do? Please. What would you do if somebody said, you know what, guys, we've been lying to you for the last hundred years, aliens exist? What would that do to your entire world? Well, it would open it up. Yeah. It would open, it, would open it, up. it up. It would open it up. They're I like, think. everybody, there's one out of every five people is an alien. Yeah. What would you even do? Well, I, I you would. Gotta, you got to think about it. One I out of ten. ten. Okay. I, 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 I would definitely think I had a few ex-girlfriends that were aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no. <laughs> they were definitely crazy. Yeah. I'm going to go. We've all been there. I'm, exactly. Been there. What does I, that I, say about your judge of character? <laughs> oh, they God. were aliens. and that's they, were why, <laughs> they were obviously out of this world. That's, yeah. why, <laughs> that's why they were exes. <laughs> there we go. Yes. <laughs> Everybody. Kyrie Irving. <laughs> no, no, but no. seriously, seriously, I, I wake up sometimes. I go outside and uh, <laughs> you know on, uh, I go outside and I look, and then I and I tell them you know Dude, they're out there. Up? Just beam me up already. Like, no, I, I, think I do not. I've seen enough to have really you give you a report Fire in the sky? on what hum- uh, how humans are. Dude, have you seen beam the movie Fire in the Sky? Is that, is that wait? Do they have like? Dude, the, is it the, that's when they do like the, the anal, one in the Phoenix, an, the anal probes no, and no, all that no, stuff. No. I think, dude. It weirded me out because it was in Phoenix. I was like 14. Oh, jeez. It was like no yeah. way, Jose. Well, then, I mean, obviously, I think that first we need to get past, you know, uh, the whole Illuminati. What, no, 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 not We're that. not going to go there? Okay. Not okay, that. No, no, not that. There. We can let's talk about that, but I'm just saying that what space how, is oh and God. how it exists in terms of what stars are. How and minute what it, all we are. And that's what it I'm saying. It is unbelievable. Just tell us. You're sending up all these things. But, but, but I just so many these, satellites. All these, all these vehicles up there that are running. First off, the fact that. What are you talking I have about? No you know, we're talking about I'm all talking the about, vehicles we put in Mars. Okay. Who was the man that walked on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Yes. The fact that his footprints don't look the same comparatively to the boots that there are in the museum is ridiculous. How do you know that? You can uh, look it up. I, I look at these stuff. So I look, look, look at things all the time. Okay. His his boot print is not the same. So you want me to really sit back after you proven to me? They have a picture of it and his boots side by side. I need an explanation. Well, well there's there's dust and there's there's there's, 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 there's there's cosmic there's wind. No Why have you not no seen Armageddon? Wind. In moon. Have you not seen Armageddon? Uh, they were going to put what is cosmic this, Transformers? No, the dark put, side of the moon. No, but I, I just I, I have a I have a, a very <laughs> firm belief that. What they're putting out in front of us is there for a reason. It just right. depends on whether you want to believe in the truth or not. Exactly. The fact that they can make all these movies with alien descriptions and really, they're not going Nobody's off that strictly, imaginative. Nobody is strictly that imaginative. just brain power. And this is just creative things that we're going to put out to everybody. To what? Ultimately put wait, an alien movie wait, out for what? Wait, wait, wait right here. Wait right here. Okay. So this is, what I want, this is what I want to get at. Let's get at it. Kyrie Irving, <laughs> do you believe there are aliens? Okay. Yes. I'm asking. Okay, yes. I believe there are. Yes. Channing Fry, do you believe there are aliens? Well, I don't even want to say aliens. I just want to say that there are extraterrestrial beings 100%. that exist. Or there are in other the universe. beings. In the universe. Yes, I would agree. Universe. In the I would universe. I would, I, I would agree with that. In the vast universe. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would say, I would say yes. Do you believe, do you I, believe do that I believe the Earth th- is round? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. You believe that Earth is round? Yes, but I heard the new one that the Earth. <laughs> There's is no new one. There is no there, new one. Okay, I heard some crazy. Do you believe, one. My do you believe that we are? That. Do you believe? Do you believe? <laughs> this gonna sound crazy. <laughs> ben Diggles, this is a shout out to you. He came to us and he listens to super conspiracy yes. theory guy. This is not even conspiracy. The is flat. Yeah, no, the Earth is flat. Oh, oh here, here we go. go. The Earth is flat. <laughs> earth is flat. Went. Have okay, you ever had go. vertigo? The Earth is not flat. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's Kai. Go. No, I'm just saying that. Not flat. No, that, let's hear that this. all this these things, hear. all these things that particular groups, I won't even pinpoint one group, that they that they almost offer up this education. The fact that in our lifetimes that there are so many holes and so many pockets in our of, history. In our, in our history. Unbelievable. But by the way, by the way, I, I want to go. Let's I want to say that the there, is, there, there is oh, just God. history. I don't want to dictate it to one race, dictate it to any one particular type of people or anything like that history is history and it's happened long before us and it's going to happen after us and it always repeats itself somehow in some way yeah because we're stupid. all these things that they keep giving to us all right all the this BS. information they're giving us bad hamburgers from uh, mcdonald's <laughs> dog <laughs> you like the hamburger i don't eat the hamburgers I'm only that you chicken can compare sandwich. to watching your child be born yeah i have okay. three so all i've right. seen i've seen a lot of things. i'm just saying that these things that ultimately used to put me in fear and this yeah. thing and it used to be like oh man 
it makes you not want to question it naturally. Yes. Because of how much information you actually can figure out and how much information there actually is out there. Yeah. It's it's crazy. You can anything that you have a particular question on. Okay, is the world is the is the world flat? Is the earth is the world flat. is the earth flat or round? Yeah. I think you need to do research on it. Like ultimately. But who's I'm not to gonna say the research that you do is going to give you the answer like oh, who actually oh, has the answer because it's right in front of our faces it's, i'm telling you it's right in front of our faces they they, they lie to us who who so, wait, 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 that's wait. what i'm saying the that, man. That, that, that's the question it's not the man it's not the man <laughs> it's not the man it's not the man what are we in a 1998 <laughs> movie yeah the man oh wait i was just talking to somebody about the man the other day i got mad at him the other day yeah the man he's holding me down holding me down that that what were we saying? So wait, guys. So <laughs> took me off. He took me off. This who is great. Like, so, oh, who are they? Yeah. They. They. They're, okay. Kai, real quick, real okay. quick. Okay, real quick. Do you believe the Earth is round or flat? Look, look, for for what I've known for as many years, and, and what, what I've come taught. to believe, what I've been taught is that the Earth is round. Yes. But I mean, if you really think about it from a landscape of the way we travel, the way we move. And the fact that can you really think of us rotating around the sun and all planets aligned, rotating in p- p- uh, specific dates, being perpendicular with what's going on with these planets and stuff like this. How are you going to put planets in quotations? I'm going to put planets that, that because everything that they send or <laughs> they want to say that they're sending. <laughs> they thought Pluto was a planet come back. until like four years ago. It doesn't come back. There is no there that, is no concrete information except for the information that they're giving us. I was, re- I'm, I'm I was particularly re- putting. They're particularly putting you in a direction of what to believe and what not to believe. And Allie, the truth is right there. You just got to go searching for it. Allie, I've been you, searching for it for a while. This, <laughs> yeah, Allie, this, that's what I'm. Why search for something you're never going to find an answer to? Well, it's, what it's do you mean? Why mess with the journey of finding it? Because yeah. it's like it's almost expanding. Like who wants to go on a journey that doesn't have an end? Uh, uh, this I, is called I, life. What, what do you mean? Who wants to go on a journey, journey that has no end? You're not going to ever find you, out. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. See, that's why you have to put some of those things on hold. Yeah. Some See, of what like, things? All right, so the conspiracy theories. Like, I used to be – like, I, I can go on, uh, right, all like, about all the questions I have. But what it really came down to for me was everything that was particularly thrown in front of me, I had to just be like, okay, look, this is all, this is all a facade. Like, this is all something that they ultimately want me to believe in that is right. – true whether or not or whatever but now there is a certain aspect of life in which i want to tell people about which is this true journey of really becoming a complete individual in total freedom of thought like Ooh. do you know what i'm saying i preach brother i'm with you freedom of thought where it's not so much emotions, the journey, it's the ability to question things yeah no it's no the ability to question things it's not ever get an answer things yeah, but, but like, even if an answer doesn't come back, yeah. that you're perfectly fine with that because you were never living in that particular truth. Right. There's a falseness in stories and things that people want you to believe and ultimately what they throw in front of us. And I keep saying ba- it, l- Basically, there was two shooters with JFK. There was not one. See, man, listen. Here see we the, go. The fact, the, <laughs> fact that, the fact that a man signs 21 days before he gets assassinated, yeah. he, he wants to end the bank cartel in the world. And all of a sudden, 21 days, he's assassinated. And the fact that Bob Marley's birthday just passed. And the CIA hired Jamaican people to try assassinate Bob Marley. There were multiple assassination attempts on Bob Marley. The fact that he tried to bring people together in a fact that it was fundamentally brought on love and truth. And we kill people for doing the right thing like I, that. And I'm going to be really, I mean, I, I'm gonna be really if honest. If this podcast is going way left. I completely understand if you guys don't want to talk about it. What, what, no, I, but I, what, I'm completely making fine a big with it. Loop what, the block. What, what I have learned because the earth is round. What, what, what I have learned is in life, do not try and bring people together, boy. <laughs> oh yeah, they will take you out so fast, oh, so yeah. fast. Oh, do not try and bring oh, people yeah. together. In what they will way? Take, well, oh, just, which just way. you know, Bob Marley only preached togetherness. He gone. Yeah. He gone. Uh, Martin Luther King only preached togetherness. They took him out. Yeah. You guys Martin preach Lu- togetherness Ma- all the time. Ma- yeah, Malcolm, X, Malcolm X was anti-one group, but then he went to Mecca, came back, and was like, I believe that Muslim brothers and sisters from come from all colors, race, tra- he yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm just saying. I think that my ultimate goal, and I think some of their goals was 
to ultimately drop what race means in the entire world. Like, I mean, the fact that you're a human Ali, you're a human Rafa, you're a human RJ, you're a human Chance. Somebody a could be an alien. The fact that we can't Somebody live har harmoniously together, lizard, that, that blows my mind. So what do they do? They create separation in race. They create separation in class. They create separation in different things that will ultimately spread people apart. And that's the way you, that's the way you control power. That's the way you control power in the whole entire world. Perry, you, many, you dictate all that. many years and moons down the road when you are no longer on this earth, what do you want people to remember you or know you as? He questioned that the earth was uh, flat. <laughs> 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 um, that that uh, there was a far bigger purpose and calling for me, bigger than basketball. Um, you know, this game, I love it so much. I dedicate a lot of my time to it, but I also have found out that working on myself can also coincide with being a basketball player and being the best that I can be. I mm -hmm. always thought that, okay, I don't have the energy. So when I go home, I listen to Jidu Krishnamarty and I'm listening to audio books while I'm taking naps and I'm thinking about things. So ultimately, not only for my generation, but the next generation after that, the current generation, how do I make an impact by not just coming out and say, I support one group or one race, or I support this, and then ultimately, it, does, it has an opposite. If it has an opposite, if it has something that the other person can say is negative, then that means that ultimately it's not the truth. The, ulti the ultimate truth is one way no matter what. If we live in that truth every single day, it's only one way. There is no, well, I want to be friends with this person, or uh, excuse me, I want to talk to about, okay, we'll bring up like police brutality. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll talk about this for months and months and months and months and months. But still, I mean, we, we can change the job landscape. We could change this. We could change that. But the, at the end of the day, until we fundamentally love one another mm -hmm. and understand that the journey in terms of where we all come from has – it has some beauty in it while we're all brought together. I didn't, mean, I didn't say that by any chance when I said that the championship team was brought together for any reason. Like, little things like that and moment-to-moment -moment things, like, okay, taking appreciation for you getting ready for a game. Why don't you take a second – just to enjoy the shower that you're in. When ha when's the last time you ever just was like, you know what? I'm not worried about anything but this moment right now. I'm only worried about loving this next person that I love. I'm only worried about getting everything I can get out of myself in the game of basketball. I'm only worried about getting everything I can take knowledgeable in this book. That's how you live in every single moment free of thought. You're just like, emo you're not emotionally attached to one thing. So me being... Me being in a conversation with someone else, I'm going to give them everything. But also I can share it with everyone else. I have enough energy to give it to everybody. So selfish in sharing that energy. It's like there's enough. There's enough of all of us to go around. There's enough moments and energy for all of us to live in that. And I believe in that. I really do. And I'm still learning how to communicate that with people through my actions, through who I am. I'm, I want to be free of my emotions. I want to be free of thought. I want to be in total freedom. I want to be in control of this. So... Ultimately, I can share with everyone, and then also I have still have it for myself. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Boy, you deeper than the other end of the pool. <laughs> <laughs>